Hello everybody, this is Stashes Maximus, El Geeko Supremo with Extra Cheese, your late night gaming buddy, Mr. Kapow. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're going to be playing this indie horror game called Madhouse. It uh, was developed by some uh, students at UCF School of Visual Arts and Design. It's a uh, first person mystery horror game made on the Unreal Engine, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay. One moment, one moment. Let's see. Let's see. Having a little connection problem here. Let me just jiggle it. Ah, oh, there you go. All right. And away we go. This is it. Lockwood Manor Mental Facility. No one's been here in years. Uh, I can't see a thing. What did that letter say again? Well, so far I like the way it looks. Let's see. Let's see. 1941, registered nurse Rebecca Flynn. Kind of cool. We it looks like we time hop between uh, multiple characters in this game. office. Uh, can't get in there, I guess not. Nope, can't not that one. Let's check this one. Nope, not that one either. Huh. Can't be outside. Nope. Huh. Alrighty. Okay. 1951, we're back to private investigator Darren Hall. There's something weird about this place. Okay, new journal entry, let's uh... Do new journal, oop, okay. That's the B button, I guess. Journal, chapter one. Department of Investigation, Westvale Police Department. Dear Darren Hall. I have an interesting, interesting case that seems to be long forgotten. There was an event 10 years ago on April 6, 1941 in a mental facility located just past Old Cherry Hill. An employee and a patient reportedly went missing one night after a power outage. Reports say they ran off together, but others say something more disturbing took place. Recently, it's been brought to the county's attention because a relative of one of the missing victims believes something more ominous went down at the old Lockwood Manor. I need you, Mr. Hall, to make use of your unique capabilities and get to the bottom of this. Regards, Westville Police Department. Okay. Oh, more. Okay, memory log number one, year 1941. Power went out. Head nurse Brenda Moore introduced herself to a new staff member. Nurse's name is Rebecca Flynn. Nurse Flynn was told to get the keys from the warden's office. She was also told to check on the patient James Hyde in infirmary. I bet this was Nurse Flynn's folder. She looked she was a looked like she was a uh, newly hired nurse here at Lockwood Manor. She was asked to head to the warden's office by head nurse Barbara to retrieve the maintenance keys to restore power. I found some strange black mass on the lobby in the lobby. 
Maybe a mold of some kind? I should be careful not to beat it in. Okay. Alright. Do you have any clues? No clues. Options. Okay. Alright. Investigate. Taking the. Oops. I'll take a closer look at this later. Or now, Lockwood Manor Mental Facility applicants personal record notes. Name first name Rebecca, last name Flynn. Job applied to nursing aide. Date applied March seventh. 1941. Currently a registered nurse at the Westville Middle School, previously worked as surgical assistant at the Palmville Memorial Hospital. Recent for application, found nurse wanted ad in newspaper. Says she is seeking employment near Westville, passionate about taking care of others and assisting those in need. She felt previous occupation as surgical assistant because, uh, so she left, okay because of undisclosed reasons. She was, she's hopeful that she can make a difference here and improve lives. Reason for hire, has experience taking care of patients and unruly children. Schedule works well, enthusiastic about creating new lives for patients. Could use a more cheerful person around here. Hire approved, March 21st, 1941. Okay. Like I said, I'm digging the atmosphere of this game. Nope. Can't get in there. Ooh, what is... What is this? Huh. Uh, huh. What is this? No idea. Nope. Let's see, anything... Ghost presence takes in control of house in California. Let's see, poultry, poultry, poultry guys, unveil new menu. Okay. Uh, here, nope. This is black goop. Huh. Weird. What's this thing? Little tentacle? Vein? Uh. <sighs> okay, that area is blocked off. Stairs. I go. Nope. Anything here? Any clues? Nope. Oh. What's this? He's washing. Watching. Okay. evidence. Lockwood Manor Mental Facility Psychologist Report Hyde James admitted into hospital December 21st 1941 date of examination no December 29th 1941 Dr. Frank Lawrence reasons for session 
After a week of silence in our meetings, Hyde explained he hospitalized himself, but fails to recall the inciting incident. Patient may be suffering from mild amnesia. He has been unable to eat. Missed work for a week when he admitted himself here due to an anonymous letter of recommendation. He's noticed he has gotten progressively worse since being here, causing fights with other patients, attempting to hurt himself, and claim to hear unknown voices. He even describes things that do not seem to be real. I suggest some time in solitary. He refused. My professional opinion is that Mr. Hyde should remain in solitary until the voices he claims to hear cease. Patient needs time alone to improve. Admitted to high security ward, calming room. Okay. Oh, trippy. Very psychedelic. Huh. Okay. Let's investigate. 1941, patient 14, James Hyde. Okay. Very trippy. Solitary confinement? How did I get here? Okay, can't get through that. Uh... Oh. oh no. I have to get out of here. Okay. Huh. Okay. What is going on? Escape. I can't crouch. Made a sound. Huh. Weird. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I leave now? Nope. Okay. Let's try. Maybe it's an order of red. Let's see. It's red, purple, and then green, so it should be red. Press purple then. Maybe it's just purple. Huh. Can't crouch. Out. I want out. Super weird. Huh. Okay. 
have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Okay. Those are brighter purple. This kind of makes sense. Hmm. Is there any other bright purple thingamajigs? Stumped. First puzzle, and I'm stumped. Huh. Figure this out. We'll figure this out. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Sesta room. We got. I mean, the only thing I really think of is pressing all of them, maybe? I think I get it. Red. Purple. Green. Purple. There we go. Gotcha. Got it. 1951, Private Investigator, Darren Hall. Yeah. What was that noise? It sounded like it came from the stairwell. Okay. Journal entry. Let's see. Oops. Memory log number two. Year 1941. Power is on. Patient Hyde acts particular and sees unrealistic things. Voices whisper to him. Patient escape solitary confinement. Patient seems very troubled. He saw things I have never seen before. I wonder how he was able to escape his room performing such strange task. I wonder where he is headed. Oh, maybe I guess we could actually see the pa like our I guess Darren Hall, the private investigator, could see the past. Like what hap what happened in the past? Okay. Okay. Nope, that door's still locked. That door's still locked. That door's still locked. Oh! Okay. Let's escape. More stuff. What the hell? This was blocked before. 1941, Western Nurse Rebecca Flynn. I need to find the key. 
keys. Okay, where are the keys? Hmm, not over here. Correct? Nope. Uh, it's pretty dark. I wish I had a flashlight or something. Do we have one? Nope. Can we take that uh, lantern with us? Missing child, suspicious, suspicious government activity in Hawkins, Indiana. Things are getting stranger. Dungeon Dragons. Okay, I, I, I like this. I like this little uh, Stranger Things uh, Easter egg we got here. This is kind of cool. This is kind of fun. A little tongue cheek. I enjoyed it. I dig it. I dig it. Get there. I like that. I like that. I really like Stranger Things. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix, and I love that show. That show's super good. Can't wait for th season three to drop. Okay. Okay, there we go. I guess no, this okay. should be the director's room. And I guess the keys are over here. There we go. I found the keys. Great. Maintenance is just through medical. On my way. Not there. Maybe it's back to here. Or something? Huh. Okay. Uh, okay, now let us. Where is maintenance? What's going on here? I have no idea. 1951, private investigator Darren Hall. She went to medical. I should head that way. New journal entry. Let's see. Memory log number three. Power is off. Nurse Flynn found the keys. Headed to maintenance. Must find patient. Looks like she was successful in finding the maintenance key. She went towards medical. I should head over that way. Okay. this way. Nope. Not that way. This way. Eh, yep. Mm-hmm. Stranger things. Wait, no. It's, uh, it's, it's there, I believe. <coughs> nope. Can't go through that way. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a statue. <laughs> I'll take a closer look at this later. Dear Mary, it's been forever and a day since I've seen you. You haunt my thoughts. I know you saw my work, my masterpiece. You may not approve. Return home and you will see their beauty. I promise. Those things you saw were not human anymore, and were never functional members of society like we are. They are a burden, parasite. I hope you could come to realize I was helping them, and I can help you. I have big plans soon for our lovely home. Big plans that turns this manor into a hospital for all the hopeless folk out there. It will be my magnum opus. Return to me so we may continue where we left off. 
so we may make a difference in a world of heathens. Yours forever, Charles Lockwood. Kind of a Bioshock vibe there. gonna go on a out on a limb here and I'm guessing these this black goop and this red vein thing they're like psychic residues or something that our character can see uh -huh. right this way in here All right. 1941 patient 14 James Hyde okay. oh oh no there. Okay. Okay. Guessing we're playing a little frogger now or something. Thing just fall off. Look like that thing just fall off, fell off. What the hell? This was blocked before. Okay, new entry. Leave chapter five. Memory log number four. Power is on. Here's a mocking voice. Patient Hyde found his way to maintenance. Patient destroyed. Power breaker. I was right. Runs downstairs. Christ, he seems to be suffering from a case, a serious case of schizophrenia. That explains the weird voices and particular things he thinks is happening. He destroyed the power breaker. Is that the same outage Rebecca experienced? Okay. This could make good evidence. Lockwood Manor Medical Facility Operative report. Patient name, James Hyde, date of birth, let's see, 1906 date of operation, February 22nd, 21st, I'm mean, 12th, 1941, operation, electroconclusive therapy, electroshock therapy, I guess. Dr. William Harris, assistant Barbara Moore, and, let's see, procedure, indications for procedure, Patient Hyde is found speaking to himself again, and believes he is seeing things that are not there. Patient talks about a man that has been conversing with him in his reward. When asked what this man looks like, patient gives no real description of human features. This is the third treatment, no signs of improvement, increased voltage to 200, procedure in detail. Patient Hyde was brought to the medical ward, strapped to a carrier. 
Patients screamed and tried to strike Agent Moore while being moved to operation table. Once patient was security strapped down, procedure began, patient's temples were prepared and ECT machine was fastened on. Assistant Moore placed her hand under patient's chin. Voltage adjusted from 150 to 200. Voltage was administrated, Mr. Uh, administered. Patient lets out a blood curdling scream and rubber block was placed in mouth. Patient's body began to violently contract while ECT machine was removed. Patient's body was still. Hyde was transferred to carrier and returned to his cell. Alright. So our patient got some electroshock therapy. And it hurt like the dickens. Okay. Forty-one. Registered nurse Rebecca Flint. Huh. Let's see. Okay. Where's the power switch? Oh, it's over here. Is this supposed to? I did. It must have... Oh, working. Excuse me. Patient escaped. Ooh, timelines gets muddy around here. 1951, private investigator Darren Hall. Christ, what was that? New journal entry. Let's see. Memory log, number five. Power is off, then turn back on. Unknown voice speaking to her. Nurse Flynn repairs power breaker. Nurse Moore orders her to go to lobby. That same voice that spoke to patient Hyde is now speaking to Rebecca. Maybe he isn't as schizophrenic as I was made to believe. He restored the power, she restored the power, or at least tried to. She headed back to the lobby, maybe to find James. I'm beginning to think this is a mode. It's getting worse. Do you have any other clues? Okay. Okay. I think y'all collected all the clues. Huh. Whoa. There's something weird about this place. <laughs> Maybe the black goop and the red veins? And all the weird stuff that's going on, uh, yeah, something weird is going on. Oh, the floor clue? 1941, patient 14, James Hyde. Run, boy, run! Run, Forrest, run! No. No. Oh. Get away! Not again. Uh, 
this way. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Nope. Not again. I have no idea what's going on. It's getting crazy, and there's like panicky music going on. The hell? Am I supposed to go? I really has do not have any idea what the hell is going on. Uh, clue will help. Uh, not again. We started. This is weird. I don't know what's going on. But how do I escape from here? Wait. Not again. Maybe it's this and this and then this way. And oh, okay. What? Uh, this way. Uh, this way. Weird. Trippy. The voices. Please, no. Nineteen fifty one, private investigator, Darren Hall. No idea, folks. Christ, what idea. was that? No idea. No idea at all. Memory log number six. Power is off, patient hide runs. Smoke fills the hallways. In obscure lobby. Enters bright room. Disappearance. What is happening? I hear the same voices as patient hide did. He ran down what seems like a never-ending hallway and made it to the lobby. What is drawing him to that vile room? I must find out what happened there. Okay. Garrett, is that you? What's going on here? 1941, Register Nurse Rebecca Flynn. Stay in the light, stay in the light. Huh. 
Huh. Hello? Who's down there? Nineteen fifty one, private investigator Darren Hall. What is going on? I have no idea. Uh, chapter eight. Memory log number seven. Power is flickering. Nurse Flynn in lobby. Nurse Moore frustrated. Seeing strange things. Disappearance. Oh god. I've seen the same thing as patient Hyde, and it looks like Nurse Flynn is as well. The mold has to be blocked in. What is the smoke? What's down those stairs? I'm going. Okay. See what's in that room. Ah! Whoa. In tonight's news, local private investigator Derek Hall was reported missing. He was last seen entering North Lockwood. If you have any information on Mr. Hall's whereabouts, please contact your local authorities. Alright, so that, my friends, is Madhouse. Uh, don't exactly know what's going on with the story, but I'm, from what I could piece together, is using the haunted asylum, tr asylum trope. I guess people go into this asylum and find themselves, uh, getting trapped inside kind of reminds me of that uh made for tv movie rose red that was based off of a story by stephen king overall i dig this game it's interesting i wish they would have explained the story just a bit clearer but uh overall not too shabby not too shabby at all as always, I am Mr. Kapow. You can find me on my social medias on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com slash stuff because I do a lot of stuff. Then there's my YouTube page, which this video will end up on. That's uh, do a search on YouTube for Mr. Kapow, M-R-K-A-P-A-O. It's all one word. Then there's, uh, oh, you can always catch me playing live here on Twitch under Mr. Kapow, M-R-K-A-P-A-O. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at Mr. Kapow, all one word, M-R-K-A-P-A-O. And, uh, oh yeah, there's also my Twitter, which is at M-P Calamity. So until next time, boom. <laughs>